First is Amadeus showing how it's done before I bring out the girls. He hasn't done this for at least a year but volunteered his skills this morning. It's very tiring mentally and physically to balance and walk upon a barrel and Amadeus prefers easier ways to earn his treats. First let me tell you about the barrel. Mine came from an animal food place and is supposed to be used for storing horse feed. Whatever you use you need a barrel with straight sides. I've then covered it with carpet sold as a whole runner mat. I've glued it into place and covered the edges with duct tape. To make it move slower I've weighed it down by filling the inside with bottles of water wrapped in an old blanket to stop them banging around. Next up is Bohemia on day two of the training because I forgot to tape the first been putting her front paws on the barrel but I'd like to encourage her to stand upon it now. I'm using a treat to lure her onto the barrel. In the beginning you could use a click or a marker word when the dog puts their feet onto the barrel but in later training it would be a distraction. I feed her food constantly from my hand to keep her in place. Always reward while your dog's feet are on the barrel. Later I will build up to standing further away and rewarding less often. Building her confidence is the key thing at the moment. She's free to jump off at any time if she wants to, although I do support her under her tummy once she is standing. Remember to keep the time spent on the barrel short as it is all very tiring for the dog. Good girl. That's a good girl you are. What a clever puppy. Yes. Fast forward to day five and outside for more space and distractions. You wouldn't know that she's just come back from a long walk. Being a Siberian husky, she always has a lot of energy. Unlike Amadeus, my other husky, she's also very food motivated and will do anything to get a food reward. She's got much better at getting onto the barrel and standing up on her own now. To make the barrel go forwards, the dog must walk backwards, which is very hard. I need to do a lot more work with Bohemia on walking backwards on the flat before she can do it on the barrel. It is much easier for the dog to walk forwards and then the barrel goes backwards. Good girl, that's very good. Stand straight, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Let's try out walking the other way. You just have to walk forward then. Step. That's better, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Okay, I had been using a pole to limit how far the barrel can roll backwards, but it didn't do a very good job, so I fetched a concrete block to act as brakes instead. My legs Stopping it rolling forward. Well, that's quite a long way off. <laughs> I think we need a string, don't we? I'm dropping treats all over the floor. It really, really, really isn't helping. And you're such a good dog, it's dizzy to gone for them up. Treats need to be given while the dog is on the barrel. Try not to drop them or your dog will probably jump off. Stand up. That's it, good girl. Hand under the tummy to help her balance. Right, you're going to have to step forward slightly. Okay, I think that will do you. Well, next is Disney, and she has done this before. Although I feed my dogs mostly raw food, I give them grain free kibble for their breakfast so I can use it as training treats and try to stop them getting too fat. It does mean that they want to train first thing in the morning and I don't even get a chance to brush my hair. Watching her now, it's hard to believe Disney was scared to even put a paw on the barrel. She watched me training Amadeus with it and decided if he was going to get lots of treats, then maybe she would like to have a go after all. Disney can walk backwards and I think this trick looks so much better done this way. And back to the master himself, Amadeus. Oh, you haven't done this for ages and you're such a good boy. 
I seem to have put the barrel on a slight incline which is making it difficult for him. The surface you work on is very important. The barrel moves quite fast on grass and carpet. It would be lethal on concrete or a tiled floor. It is so much harder for big dogs to do this trick than it is for small dogs. Big dogs have very little space to put their feet and have to concentrate much more to keep their balance. When Amadeus was learning to do this trick, he loved it as much as the girls. As he has got better at doing it, he's got rewarded less and his enthusiasm has waned at the same rate, unfortunately. I'm hoping that the girls will keep up their enthusiasm that they are showing at the moment. Once the dog can balance on his own, move further away and encourage him forward with a treat. I aim to be out of the camera shot, but I need to build it up slower as he hasn't done this trick for so long. I moved too far away from him, which is why he jumped off the barrel. I'm pushing my luck now because Amadeus has a attention span of about two minutes and I'm getting very close.